Back at Cash's place, Stevie's hitting the booze as Cash tries his best to convince her to show up on set. Cash tells Stevie that he knows she's doing it tough with the court case coming up, but she's not on her own. It does little to placate Stevie however, as Cash continues to field calls from Nelson in the hope of biding some time. When Nelson calls Cash, Stevie knocks the phone out of his hand before he can answer it. Cash has had enough by this point, and tells Stevie to get into the shower and sober up whilst he calls Nelson to tell him she'll be on set in 20 minutes. The shower does little to improve Stevie's mood, or sobriety, as she opens up to Cash about how she genuinely feels she can't do this. She doesn't just want to be a star, she wants to be good at what she does. Cash reminds her of how he was enthralled in Death Rose despite hating horror films, and that was because she made him care for the character, isn't that why she does the job? Stevie finally makes it to set, though Nelson isn't too impressed when he realizes she's a little tipsy. Nelson orders her into makeup and warns Cash that this cannot happen again. With Stevie's little episode over, production begins in earnest, but another crisis befalls the production later in the week when Nelson learns that one of the bit part actors has broken his ankle. It's a custom made uniform, so it can't be just anyone who takes over the role, with Cash immediately ruled out as being the wrong build. But then Nelson spies someone who could be just right. Justin, who's busy bemoaning the fact that he can't go for his morning surf as he approaches the set with Leah and Theo. Justin's confused when he spots Nelson staring at him, and he nervously approaches when beckoned over. As Nelson circles and sizes him up, Stevie asks Justin how he'd like to be in a movie. He'll do it. Leah jumps in after Nelson tells him he would have to be performance ready extremely quickly. Before Justin's even had time to take it all in, he finds himself down on the beach in a valet's uniform. Ready to shoot his movie debut opposite the world-famous Stevie Marlowe. With garage owner and band manager already among Justin's jobs, is he about to find himself a new calling? The following day, Stevie is back on the beach with co-star Troy as they film one of the major climactic scenes of the movie. Cash is up in salt when he receives a call from his boss which makes his blood run cold. Stevie's stalker Sidney, who has been on remand awaiting his trial, has somehow been released on bail. Immediately realizing that Stevie is in serious danger, Cash races downstairs and out of the club, sprinting towards the beach. Little does Cash realize that as he runs down the pathway, an unseen sniper has him lined up in his crosshairs, before swiftly moving on to Stevie. As Cash desperately yells out Stevie's name, a deafening shot rings out across the beach, 